What's up, everybody? Welcome to PC Building Simulator. Today we're going to be playing it, and you know, if you ever get, if you have this game, you can go through the how to build a PC. It tells you how to build a PC, but uh, you also have free build and the IT expansion. We're just going to be doing a career mode because I haven't played this game before. So let's go ahead and go through the career mode. Oh, we get to select the workshop. Um, I only have this one unlocked. I thought I did get the Razor and the one of these other ones, NXT. But maybe not. I guess we didn't. That's fine. It's all the same. Well, not all the same, because it probably looks looks better, feels better, probably more vibey. About the environment. But Alright, to begin, go to your PC by the doorway, open the email program on the desktop. You got mail. So basically just tell me to go to my PC. Can I move? Yeah, we can move. Haha, <laughs> I'm on my own desk. Bro, this is my desktop almost. That's the background for my desktop. Cool. Welcome to your new PC shop. Thank you for taking over the PC shop. Sorry I'm not in a better state. A few things. The company isn't doing very well and there's no money in the bank account. But you should just close down if you weren't doing very well. What the crap? Uh, but I guess he wanted to keep it going as he, if he could. The rent and the energy bill comes out money, so make sure you have enough money for them. I had a job on the go which helped me with the rent. Remember to use your thermal thermal paste and put it in the CPU. I always forget. That's why you're not doing well, bro. That's the main thing. So I think you're all set. It's your company now to run. See how I fit. So I just inherited a company, the rent, everything. PSA at the bar, $15 for fuel. I know you, you know how it is. Uh, are you going to pay my $15 back, Uncle Tim? I'm just saying. Let's see what this says. Labor and budget. Hope you can help me. My computer's been running slower than usual. Might have clicked something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? So labor, we have a budget of zero dollars. All right, let's go to the PC. We're gonna go ahead and take this in here. Let's put it over here on this one. Wait, oh, so that's my third. Oh, these are just where our next uh, desk will be. So we only have one desk right here. One set up. All right. PC can boot to OS remove virus. So it can boot to the OS. So let's go ahead and connect everything up. But just so you know, I did kind of go to uh, school for this a little bit, so I kind of know. But even if I didn't, you know, this if you get using a PC most time I use majority of the basic stuff. Press three R cable button to plug in okay so I wanna push the cables itself. Plug my cables in like that. Yeah. My PSU which is my power. Excuse me. Motherboard and the board connect. Insert the USB drive. Into the back of the pieces so you can install the virus scanner, okay? Where is our USB? Where, where is it? It should be to the side, right? How do we get out of here? Oh, probably installed. There it is. Seemed to be pretty straightforward. Power on a PC. So you do have hotkeys. P is power. Can I go over to the... Alright, let's do the virus scanner. Here. Add programs. We want virus scanner. Installing.
This is kind of old school. F2 to enter BIOS, probably want to. I don't need to. This is not that we had to reboot it. Alright, we'll scan it. Files infected. Ooh, man, he had 516. You must have been doing more than just clicking the wrong thing. Alright. That is done. Let's leave here. With the power office computer, we want to take our cables out. Excuse me. Probably remove like that. Yeah. Remove that. All right. Now we want to. How do we? No. Power is already off. Place in the delivery area. Okay, how do I do that? Probably move off of cabling. Loose plastic, plain black. Oh, that's the inventory. Okay, we removed everything, sir. Oh, we gotta go back to remove. No, that don't that don't seem right. Oh, escape. That makes sense. We're gonna put it back to this delivery area. Put it by the door. Alright, and how we get our reward is we go back to our PC and say collect. Bam, everything is done. No parts needed. That was an easy job. You completed your first job. Well done. Come back tomorrow and see if there are some more jobs to do. Let's look at see what Uncle Tim would have to say. Reading the article online about this business principles got me thinking. It's time I took Tim's red hot repairs back to his roots. Excuse me, sir. Top priority. I set up a website. The article said you're a nobody if you're not in a, on the web. Take a look. When you've got a man at Tim's Red Hot Repairs.com. Seriously, open up your browser and check it out. It's a real website. Took me hours to get it all working. Why do I feel like I don't want to do it? As for the next steps, I've got my eye on a few local properties and money that, that needs to be tied up in that old workshop of yours. But I'm sure I can think of a quick far way to get cash anyway. Let's have a look at your website. And let me know what you think. I'll keep you updated. P.S. Don't do anything flammable on the old website. And if you do, if you not, wait. And if not, do you think maybe you could start? Oh, if he, oh, he's telling me to keep something flammable. He trying to burn the well, the workshop down. What is wrong with you, Tim? I got this. This is this is our shop now. Supermail.com. I was building a PC earlier. I forgot which power supply to buy to support the 380, 380 that I. Oh, I almost said that wrong. Anyway, 380 that I just got. Is something someone who is not using in my new cloud notes might say? You haven't forgotten things. Need somewhere to note? Try using the cloud notes. It's a great app where you can write notes for a PC building and check them whenever you need to. It's pretty handy. It should be with all your other apps ready to install. Hope this is helpful. P.S. I've been giving you access to a prototype I'm working on which will enable the app in your inventory to. Uncle Tim, Uncle Tim, how are you still helping me if you're going to go and just try to be excuse me? I won't go to it. Here you go. Let's add cloud notes since Uncle Tim did it. You should give me the unprototype version. What's wrong with Uncle Tim? I wonder if our PC would go down itself. Like, 
you know. Fire notes. Cool. Alright, and it was something else he wanted me to do. I think he wanted me to. Can I get a browser from there? No? Okay. I thought maybe he actually wanted me to go to the email site. Tim Red Hot Repairs. Maybe not. What if it's like a actual site in real life? I'm not going to it though. Alright, let's see. Oh wait, we're supposed to give you new jobs. I guess we won't. Must be level 5 to change your peripherals. What? You gotta be different levels to do so much on here. This is our inventory. I should have cleaned his stuff, dust out of his thing too. We didn't even check for it. We just kind of did like a quick repair thing. Normally, that's what you would do if you're doing someone's, uh, doing something with somebody's computer. Stuff like cleaning, you would just go ahead and do it. Throw it in too. This is, this is like a good thing for mechanics, let alone, you know. Alright, let's see if we got another email yet. I guess we don't. Okay, well. So what do we do? We just go to the next day? Oh, oh, yep. No, we can't go to it like that. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with our PC. So I guess we would just leave the workshop. Yep, end of the day. Maybe I should do day by day. Probably not though. Alright, we got emails. Start at the top. Could you look at my PC please? It isn't running as well as it what I did when I first brought it. I've probably been taking the best haven't been taking the best care of it. It looks a bit dirty because you give it once over. If you can, I'll bring it around tonight. So now we have to accept jobs. That first job we just kinda had you know. Okay, we'll take that job. Customer PC will take a day to arrive. And the current day by going to the workshop though. Okay. We can do that. I'm not going to do it yet. We might accept more than one job. And we get more than one job done another day. I need some help. I need some more space for the back of my files. You install a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I'll bring it around first thing in the morning. Boom. I feel like that's an easy $50 to spend and help somebody out and make the money back. Huh? Brittany. My graphics card is fried still. Ooh, that is a good bit of chunk of change, baby girl. We make no money on it. Hi there. Just wanted to. <clears throat> Sorry. Hi there, just wanted to thank you for fixing my PC. It's booting up faster than it has in years. I didn't realize your uncle had gone away. Looks like the business is in good hands. Thanks, Gary. So we did a good job on my first one. In the next episode, we're going to be working on this next one right here. These next two PCs. Um, Brittany, we don't make no money on hers because the labor is low and we got to spend money on it so really we don't make money on it but we still might have to accept it we're just gonna end up losing a little money but, but we first need to get these other ones done because like he said we don't have much money we have $85 right now and that's it so these other jobs are probably better for us to do but not hers alright guys I'll see you in the next episode see you next time